Hey guys, anybody Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And today Apple has released yet another beta for iOS 14.5. iOS 14.5 developer beta 2 is now available for registered developers. Public beta testers, this is not out for you just yet. You can follow me on Twitter if you would like. I always tweet out when that becomes available for the public beta testing program as well. It shouldn't be more than 24 hours after the developer beta, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, as per usual, Apple has updated their other platforms as well. I iPadOS 14.5 Beta 2 is out. WatchOS 7.4 Beta 2 is available for the Apple Watch. And TVOS 14.5 Beta 2 is out available for developers right now. So what's new with the latest beta? Now, there's quite a bit of changes here that I wanted to share with you guys. Is about 677 megabytes of a download here. And if we take a look at the latest bill number here, we're going to go to the latest bill number here. And it's going to be 18 e 5154 F. So what's new with a beta 2 on iOS 14.5? Now, aside from all the awesome new features coming to this software, iOS 14.5 is one of my favorite updates, and I can't wait till you guys get your hands on this software once it is released. There's a new mask unlock with Apple Watch. So yeah, that's a new awesome feature coming to the Apple Watch. There's new updates to the Apple Maps where you can report accident hazards to speed traps there's just airplay 2 support for fitness plus customers full support for xbox and playstation 5 controllers there's so many new features and changes with this software dual sim support actually is also available 5g dual sim support is now available for iphone 12 as well and the ability to actually use siri to change your default to music slash podcast players so now this one is in beta and apple is definitely testing this one uh, hopefully this sticks around but yeah definitely a ton of new features in beta 1 and now we're following up here in beta 2 with additional new changes the first thing to note is that the update screen here if we go to settings apple had changed it in beta 1 but it's now back to the standard there it is the standard one this is what it looked like in beta 1 so now it's back to what it was before so there's over 200 new emojis in beta 2 yes over 200 new emojis are now available and i'll link this in the description down below let's go ahead and take a look at some of the latest new emojis right here as you can see there's just a ton of new emojis and there's emoji combinations which make this over 200 different emojis with the combinations we have all these right here as i mentioned links will be in the description one of my favorite ones though has to be the new airpods max emoji so if we head on over here to the emoji picker let's go to the emoji picker right here and there it is the new airpods max the new headphones have now been switched to that so that's one of my favorite ones and as i mentioned you can do emoji combinations for couples so if we go here to the couples screen so let's go ahead and try to find the couples here and now you can press and hold and actually change the couples so you can create your very own just like so and make different combinations hair color uh, skin tones and things like that so you can drag it over just like so and create your very own personal uh, emoji for couples so yeah over 200 as i mentioned new emojis with couple combinations and standalone emojis as well one of my favorite ones the heart with fire one of my favorite ones there but as you can see yeah you can go ahead and now choose from a ton of new emojis in beta 2 now there's also some changes to the music application this iPhone here is running beta 1 I wanted to show you here if we click on these three dots here you see that the menu pops up from the bottom take a look here at beta 2 the menu pops up within the actual button there so I think I prefer this one right here this new UI it looks cleaner smoother hopefully Apple sticks with that so let me show you that again right there pops up from the button right here it pops up from the bottom so I prefer this it looks a lot cleaner as I mentioned and that's something new now many many iPhone users especially iPhone 12 owners are reporting that the green tint display issue plaguing some iPhone owners has now been resolved now i personally haven't had this issue either on the max or on the standard iphone 12s or any of my iphone 12s but some users did have issues with a green tint uh, showing up and flickering of the display it appears that some users continue to report that on this latest beta beta 2 this has been addressed now i can't confirm this as i mentioned i haven't had this issue myself but if you did have a flickering display or a green tint display issue on iphone 12 or any iphone let me know if 14 point five developer beta 2 has addressed that for you in the comments down below and this was just a quick first look at the latest ios 14.5 beta 2 expect my follow-up video i'm going to continue digging around the software to find additional new features and changes to share with you guys in the next couple of days here on the channel so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching this quick update and i'll see you guys on the next one peace